Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives star Robin Brown didn't plan to destroy Cody's marriages, friend says. She is not a homewrecker a close friend of Robin Brown defended her as the 44-year-old faced criticism on social media over claims that she planned to destroy Cody's marriages to Mary, 52, Janelle, 54, and Christine, 51, respectively. Kendra Pollard, who made an appearance in a number of early episodes of the popular TLC program, called that scenario 100% false. She told a news organization, I want to clear the air on the fact that everyone is really highly convinced that Cody truly planned to bring Robin into his marriage to wreck it, that this was kind of a deliberate strategy on Cody and Robin's side. The statement, none of that is true. The only way Robin actually entered the family was through Mary, Kendra said. The connection and introduction took place through Mary. Therefore, the concept was entirely hers. She also mentioned that Robin's divorce and the fact that she had children from that union initially turned off the patriarch of the Brown family. However, Cody overcame this obstacle during their courting leading up to their 2010 wedding. He didn't begin taking her on private outings until after they became engaged to be married. But on the other hand, he also brought video teams, Kendra said. Therefore, Robin is not a homewrecker, and their union was not planned. They're painting Robin as this ungrateful person who demanded everything from Cody, but the reality is that Cody had a very strict schedule for spending time with his wives, despite multiple seasons of the show largely centering around stories of the other spouses feeling neglected and pushed aside for Robin, it rarely altered claimed Kendra. When Cody would go on his scheduled date with Mary or Christine, she said they would be so upset with him, and the minute he'd come home, the whole time he'd be there would be about fulfilling Christine's needs, her anger and her frustration, or fulfilling Mary's needs, and that's what became the end of the relationships. And the entire time he was there, they actually made him feel awful. She continued, so to sit here and blame Robin when she's not even present in their homes, that she's the cause of the breakups is completely false, revealing the mother of five, who has Solomon and Ariella with Cody, and has Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna from another marriage, would plead with them to fix things. He would come home to her and be so upset about his problems with his other wives, and Robin and Cody would spend their free time together focusing on fixing his broken relationships, she recalled. Even though it wasn't her role to do so, she tried her best to resolve his other marital issues. Robin Brown's best friend from Sister Wives speaks out at last. Robin Brown, a star of Sister Wives, attracted a lot of criticism for reportedly purposefully causing a house invasion, but her friend rejected the notion. Fans are really already familiar with Kendra Pollard because she has already been on the TLC program. Additionally, she spoke well about Mary Brown over the years. Fans of Sister Wives seriously doubt the sincerity of Cody's favorite wife. They even criticized her for deceiving the other women and their husbands. Red flags were raised when Mary divorced Cody right away. Fans are much more persuaded now than they were before that she intended to wed Cody and drive the other wives away. After all, rumors claimed that she and her children would inherit everything from Cody after his death. There are not many Robin Brown supporters. On social media, those who do speak out for her are frequently accused of being Aurora or Kendra Pollard. It was once said that she and her friend used to run a Facebook group. Although both of the women were aware that Mary's catfish was a female, neither of them brought it up. People naturally believe that Kendra's claim of innocence is a little difficult to accept in light of it. According to The Sun, Kendra is quite irate over the homewrecker accusations spreading on social media. I want to clear the air on the fact that everyone is very heavily convinced that Cody actually planned to bring Robin into his marriage to ruin it, that this was kind of a premeditated plan on Cody and Robin's part, she stated in their interview with her. That is completely untrue, she continued. It might not be true, but that still doesn't explain why Robin Brown added her own children to a portrait photo that also included Christine and Cody. It also doesn't explain why, as a divorce seeker self, she felt the need to gaslight Christine. Although she cried and said she didn't want to be monogamous, some fans think she is cold and calculating since she is aware that her emotions fuel Cody's fury. 
Evidently, Robin Brown never made an attempt to contact Cody to join the family. Actually, a lot of admirers think she called him and went looking for him to get rich and famous. Kendra, however, accepts the TLC narrative that Mary was her only interaction with her future husband. It was an introduction and interaction through Mary, hence the entire concept belonged to Mary, according to Kendra. Do you agree that Robin Brown, Kendra Pollard's friend, may be innocent? Do you really think she never used her power to control events or that she never wanted Cody all to herself? Sister Wives Mary Brown's fears for Cody following his move to Utah Despite Cody Brown's best and some of his worst attempts, his wives have become more estranged this season of Sister Wives. With her intention to move more permanently to Utah, Mary Brown is the next to establish new boundaries. Mary has made the decision to relocate her LuLaRoe apparel company to her Parowan, Utah bed and breakfast, but Cody is currently unaware of that information. 2014 saw the formal divorce of Cody and Mary, but they made the decision to continue being spiritually married. The pair formally ended their relationship in January of this year. Mary still wants to continue having a cordial relationship. She confided in a close friend about her worries. Mary discussed her plans to spend more time in Utah with her lifelong best friend, Jen Sullivan. It gives me a lot of anxiety, she said. However, I will relocate the clothing here so I can visit more frequently. With that aspect of it, you can assist me. I want my relationship with Cody to progress to the point where we have, like a wonderful marriage relationship, but that's not where it is at the moment, she explained. And I worry that if I tell him I'm going to move my business to the B&B, &B, he'll assume I'm done with this relationship. I'm not there, though. Despite all of Mary's preparations, she hasn't yet discussed her move with Cody. Robin Brown was furious with Mary in the People preview for the upcoming episode because of Mary's more permanent relocation. He's through with me, there's no doubt about that, Robin, Mary remarked. Please work it out with us here, Robin urged. Janelle responds, it's a new chapter for me, which prompts Christine to ask how she is feeling. I still don't know, but I'm optimistic, and it seems like there are many of alternatives, Janelle responds. This summer appears to be far more exciting than previous years. Christine considers the difficulties they've encountered as sister wives, particularly in light of her choice to leave Cody and the family last summer. She claims that Janelle sobbed as she gave her exit speech. Janelle acknowledges, I cried. For me, that was uncommon. The special friendship the two women have formed over the years is highlighted by a brief moment of laughter between them. Christine reflects on their ongoing friendship and says, we'll always raise the kids together. You sobbed then, but not with you and Cody. We're going to always be sister wives. Christine reiterates the unbreakable link she shares with Janelle in a different confessional, saying, Janelle and I have this bond, it's cemented together, and nothing is going to come between Janelle and myself. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.